Good day, Great Elements. Welcome to week 12. In this week, we're going to be looking at geometric optics. The first thing we're going to look at is the reflection of light. And this is really a revision of what you should already know about light and its reflection. So let's watch this cute little video. Reflection of Light Have you ever wondered why images are formed in a mirror? This is due to the bouncing back of the part of the light incident on the mirror. This bouncing of light from a smooth surface is called reflection. The amount of light a surface reflects depends upon the nature of the surface, angle at which the light beam strikes the surface and the nature of the material on which it is incident. Reflection is of two kinds, namely regular reflection and irregular reflection. Regular reflection takes place when a beam of light falls on a smooth and polished surface like a mirror. In regular reflection, the reflected light goes only in a fixed direction. Irregular reflection. Irregular reflection takes place when a beam of light falls on rough surfaces like walls, wood, etc. Here the different portions of the surface reflect the incident light in different directions. Hence the reflection becomes diffused. Irregular reflection is also known as scattering of light. It is due to scattering of light we are able to see the objects around us. Right, at this point in time I'd like to just stop this video and we'll carry on. But this year is very important because this talks about the law of reflection. And what it is saying is that this year is the incident ray, big I. This year is the angle of incidence, okay? This is the reflected ray and this is the angle of reflection. And in regular reflection, in other words, if this is a nice shiny object, okay, like a mirror or piece of glass, then the angle of incidence is always going to equal the angle of reflection. And this line here is called, it's got label N because it's a normal. And the normal is always 90 degrees to the surface. So the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are basically the angles that the angle the incident ray makes with the surface and the incident and the re reflected ray makes with the surface and they are always equal and that is called the law of reflection. Right, grade 11s, I hope that that gave you a good revision on reflection because we are going to move on from this now and learn about refraction. Um, please make sure that you do understand and remember your reflection of light. Have a great day.